I was a hostess and he came up to me one day and introduced himself and asked me for my name. He kind of just kept asking me and asking me to go on a date with him, but I was going through some things, so I was just like, no, I'm just going to die. to just like focus on God and myself. He just kept asking, and then I went to his baptism, and just seeing him in that atmosphere kind of just like hit me in a way that I didn't expect. I was actually working at Anthony Buster, and she walked in. She caught my eye. She's a pretty good looking girl. Honestly, I was expecting her to be like me because she's so pretty. But um, she was super nice. And so, like, that really caught me off guard. That's kind of why I started talking to her. I definitely knew I wanted to talk to her. I knew I needed to, you know, because she was really pretty. It was a lot of surprise, like, well, I got to know her, like, that she was just, like, this really deep person with all these experiences that were really similar to mine, actually, like, that similar upbringing. Just more and more, it kept making sense. Absolutely. I never would have thought I'd have, like, a girl at my baptism that would be the woman that I'd marry. I'm so excited and emotional. <laughs> But I'm just excited for him to see me and just see his face. I just have like a really good feeling and a good peace about this day. It's pretty crazy. It's like a roller coaster between like wanting to cry and like maybe pass out and then like laughing a bunch at nothing. And um, I'm, I definitely know I'm going to cry tonight. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to be here and to be able to like be her husband today. It's amazing. Everything about her is like everything I ever wanted. Like if you've ever thought about what you picture to be like the most beautiful girl in the world, like she's literally the epitome of like what I imagined. I didn't even know like until like I met her and she like has just described that to me like through who she is of like what I've always wanted. I love how he understands people. He doesn't, he's not quick to judge. He is always reminding me that well, maybe they come from somewhere else or maybe there's a deeper meaning behind it and he just always reminds me that we're all human and we all we all deserve to have the benefit of the doubt i just love how natural it is for him to love people and people are just drawn to him and i can see it and it just honestly makes me love him more I just get excited about Kayla because people are just drawn to her, really, and that like portion of our ministry will just be interesting to watch because she's really full of like good advice and she's had a lot of experiences in her life, and so I feel like she can really relate to people, which like I can relate to people, but people don't like seek me out the way that they seek her out for just help, and it's beautiful to watch. And, like I can kind of be there the same way that she supports me, you know, as my wife. Um, I'll be able to support her though when she's like tired because she's so worried about other people and it's just exciting because I just know she's gonna just get better at that and she's gonna change people's lives. 
Grant, I remember when I first met you, I felt a tug in my soul that was so unfamiliar. I was completely taken by the way you love everyone, even total strangers. And now with every new day, I will grow more and more taken with the way that you love me. On our first date, I felt a sense of comfort that I didn't understand yet. You showed me how it feels to be wanted and loved exactly as I am. You are my best friend, you are my safe place, and you are the man I've been praying for since before I knew your name. I found that my heart has known you all along. God placed you in my life at the perfect moment, and now I stand before you, giving you my hand for the rest of my life. I never knew this to be true, but God carefully handcrafted you for me. Together, we are better than we could ever be alone. I vow to love you unconditionally and to have the patience love demands. I vow to serve you, support you, honor you, and respect you in all things you do. I vow to lift you up spiritually and pray for you and with you. I vow to always be there for you. I vow to lean on God during the challenges we may face. I vow to love you with gentleness, kindness, and without reservation. No matter where life may take us, I vow to be right by your side. I promise from this day forward, you may never walk alone as long as you live on this earth. I vow to hold you in my heart and always be grateful for you, the miracle you are. I thank God for this day that the two of us may become one. I vow to go closer to God together and individually. Today I commit my life to you as your wife. You are the love of my life, Grant, and I am yours forever. Kayla, your beauty caught my eye, your demeanor made me curious, and your heart made me laugh. I am beyond blessed to be here with you in this special moment, and I'm so excited to see where our lives will go from here. I can get through the worst days with you by my side, and I will laugh with you through the good times. I promise to always hold on to the reasons I first fell in love with you, as I find so many more. I will lead our family faithfully in the way God intended, today and forever. I am on your team with love and support. We love people without reservation, and for you, I will be the same.
So I actually had a counselor tell me this other day that she felt like she has a sign on her forehead that says, like, I'm crazy, I have problems, talk to me. And, uh, well, no, that wouldn't have been the sign. Hold up. I'm going to restart. Yeah, um, so coming up to today, what are you feeling? What are you feeling about Kayla? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, hold on. Yeah, sure. It's a video, so you guys can do it. Hey, congrats, bud. Thanks. Oh my gosh, so cute.